Greetings my fellow Animers, it's the Animer guy here and today's video will be about how Mello got light with his moves and led near to his victory and a little analysis on him as a character as well. So I'll mainly point out Mello's role in the story, especially at the end of the story but in general you could say this as a small synopsis of how light actually lost. So recently I noticed that on Light's loss, Melo doesn't seem to get enough credit for what he did. And I want to explain why we should appreciate this character even more and give him the proper credit. First half of the Death Note series ends with El's death, but without giving Kira much time, we're introduced to these two adolescents as El's successor. We have Nier, who displays El's rational, composed, and problem-solving abilities and it seemed like he also got El's habit to stack objects. He is obsessed in solving complex problems, therefore sees crime cases as puzzles to solve. And we got Melo, who did seem to admire El, but didn't show any interest on serving justice or even being El's successor. His only concerns seem to prove that he's better than Nier. And not to mention, he got El's eating habit, but compared to El, he eats chocolate, and he does it even cooler than L. And he's eating chocolate all the time. And it's actually interesting that how each one got one of L's characteristics. But Melo, instead of working with Nier, leaves the institution because he sees Nier as a rival and couldn't stand working together. In the beginning of the story, he would rather die than working with Nier. But in the end, he did cooperate with Nier. After Melo left the institution, Nier became the official successor of L and started his own private investigation, but with only one purpose, to close the Kira case. And at the same time, Melo, who's been living in the underground world, wasn't sitting for nothing. He was looking for his way to Kira, but he was doing it only to prove that he is better than Nier. And now, I'll list the key moves that Melo made, which made major impact on Light's loss. First, discovering that Kira is among Japan Police Task Force. So the one who made the first gambit was Melo. Our man is a straight up gangster. He and his gang kidnapped the police director Takimura in exchange for the death note. Melo was already aware that there are two death notes. One is in the hands of the task force and the other is at the hand of Kira. And by doing so, Melo discovers that Kira is somehow involved with the task force or even among the task force because Light, out of caution, killed the police director himself. Melo was sharp enough to notice that just after the kidnapping, the victim dies, but people who knew the incident was only the task force members, so Melo reasoned that Kira is someone who was aware of the situation, and that also made Nier to assume that as well. The abduction of Light's sister and the fake rule. After failing on the first blackmail, Melo made his next move. He abducts Light's sister. He then blackmails Task Force to trade Defno for his hostage. This time Light couldn't kill the hostage because it would be too obvious for everyone and moreover he still couldn't kill his sister. After Melo took the Defno, he used one of his undermen as a distraction and used the missile to safely slip the note away from near satellite surveillance. And we can see it from here that Melo was a quiet, resourceful guy who would have an access to a missile, underground facility, or even an airplane. After a while, we found out that the death note that Melo took was not Ryuk's, but it belonged to the other Shinigami whom Ryuk stole from. Sido comes to Human World to take his note back. He visits Melo and his gang, and at the first time, guys freaked out, but few moments later, they got along quite well. And there, Melo even got his key information to take down Kira. There's a fake rule written on it, says Sido. And at that moment, exposing light became just a matter of time. Because as we know, the 13 days rule was the ace in the hole for light's plan. The secret behind light's success. The foundation where light erected his whole master plan. And in case you might not remember, the rule was, if the person using the death note fails to consecutively write names of the people to be killed within 13 days, then the user will die. And by discovering this, Melo walked twice further than near. Melo even reasoned that if that death note was once in the hands of Kira, he probably used it. And thus he decides to test the rule to find out, but Light wasn't stupid. He sent his task force to take his death note back. And Light got his death note back, but unfortunately it ended with Melo's escape and his father's death. 
After this incident, Melo was alive and he visits Nier to take his copy of a photograph. But he just couldn't leave by taking his photograph. He shares what he knows about Kira. With the previous moves he made, Melo discovered so much that I would dare to say 70% to closing the case. He pretty much told Nier where to shoot and where to start. And just after that little visit, Nier immediately calls to Light and interrogates him. He asked Light about the fake rule and the existence of Shinigami. As the interrogation went further, everything became clear for everybody. And you see that, my friends? Melo did it first, and then Nier put the pieces together. And lastly, Melo's self-sacrifice. Okay, so to explain how Melo's self-sacrifice turned the table, I really have to recap the whole process of how Light actually lost. And this is going to be a very detailed explanation, so to be more clear, I'm implementing illustrative approach to explain these. After Nier made everything clear with Melo's help, all they needed was a proof against Light. So it was now or never situation for Light to get rid of Nier and also everyone who has knowledge about the truth of Kirikase and settle things once and for all. Since it would be too obvious for Light to let Misa continue doing the killing, he recruits someone who would do the killing for him, and he chooses Mikami. But he was initially a bait to lure Nier into his plan, and Light also anticipated that Nier would know he would choose someone else than Misa, and he would choose someone who has a strong belief in Kira's work. And unknowingly, in the beginning Nier took the bait and he appointed one of his men to tell Mikami's daily activity and at the same time Light who was already expecting that to happen made Mikami to create fake death note and take few pages from the original death note so Mikami can continue writing on the fake one and deceive Nier and his men and send the original pages to Takada. Also Mikami put his original one in the bank safe and from that point Takada started doing the killing but not on the original death note but a few pages from the original death note and unaware of the the situation near made his men to tamper the fake death note and kept watching Mikami. At this moment, Light's victory was assured. He actually won at this point. But there comes our guy Melo. He kidnaps Takada who was doing the killing and Takada already had instruction from Light to kill Melo if she ever encounters him. Thus kills Melo. Takada is now a big evidence for Light, therefore he kills her. But Mikami also writes her name just one minute after that and he messed things up at this point. And the worst thing is quite obviously Mikami had to reopen the bank safe to write on the original one. and. Nier's men then noticed sudden change in Mikami's course and followed him all the way to bank and found out what was going on. And Nier's men swapped the original one in the safe with the fake one. And to the final stage, Mikami comes with the fake one and until the end, Light believed that he really got Nier. And you see my friends, I'll tell you again, it's all thanks to Melo. And it's said that Melo even knew that he was going to die for this. As he said, there's no other way. It's ironic that the one who was more arrogant and prideful, who did didn't seem to care about other people first realized that they were no match for Kira all by themselves. Melo knew that unless they combined their power they wouldn't defeat Kira so he made that sacrifice. Then again just as Nier said individually they don't have a chance on beating L however if they combine their forces they could even surpass L. L had both offensive and calculative abilities but Nier and Melo each one had one of those abilities. Melo was more of an action man he just uses any methods to reach his goal. Whenever he needs to do something, he just goes there and then boom. So he got L's offensive side. And Nier on the other hand got L's calculative and patient side. Who would do the thinking behind the curtain. He tends to let his team members do the job instead of him going outside by himself. So from this point of view, Melo have what Nier doesn't have and Nier have what Melo doesn't have. Melo is a destroyer and Nier is a builder. The executor and the analyst. Together they took down Cure.